Hi you lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at St Mary's Church uh, in East Horsley, just off the A246. Some of my recorded did a video quite recently uh, exploring three churches along the A246, very, very near here, which I'll link below. We have been here before, but it was shut. Uh, I think the title of the video was, well that wasn't going to happen then, I'll link that below as well. Um, yes, beautiful old church founded by a Saxon Lord called Thored in uh, 10, was it 1030? Yeah, 1030. Um, so yeah, beautiful church. So a lot, lot of history on this site, a lot of history. So yeah, well, hopefully it's gonna be open, we can get in. If not, we'll move on to our next destination, which will be East Clandon. Now we've done videos from West Clandon and the church there, but until recently, and this is really embarrassing to say, I thought I knew this area really well. I didn't know there was a little village at East Clandon. I thought it was just a little tiny, tiny hamlet of maybe a couple of houses. But there's an ancient church there, so I'm going to have a look at that. So yeah, how's that sound? Let's go. Yeah, the church tower was built in 1120. 1120. It's locked. Churches just don't want you to go in, do they, these days? I can understand about vandalism and things like that, but okay, um, that's a wasted part of the video. <laughs> Let's go on to East Clandon. So this is East Clandon. You've got West Clandon just down the road, which we've been to before, which I'll link that video below, as I said. Uh, nice little village, Anglo-Saxon origins. Nice church, let's have a little look around. You've got Hatchlands Park, just next door, which we've been to before in 2019. I'll link that video below as well. Um, Natural Trust property. Might be cottages here. Sorry, if you hope you can hear me. It's very, very blowy here today. Um, but it is September, so we're going into autumn. Got a lovely tithe barn here. It's got one of those doomsday plaques as well, saying it was mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086. We've been converted into uh, flats now. This is the Church of St Thomas of Canterbury. It's the only church dedicated to uh, Thomas, Thomas Beckett, uh, in Surrey. My new fetish of uh, touching uh, walled up doors now on churches. <laughs> so yeah, lovely church. Oh, it's lovely in here. Built in the 12th and 13th century. It's a nice, really nice atmosphere in here. Really nice atmosphere. Just such a charming location. Can I say charming? I just did, too late. But it's a charming location in this little village. I say I really apologise. I just didn't even know East Clandon was a village. I mean, it's a very, very small village, you know, but it's really nice. But I've driven past here hundreds of times. I just thought it may be one or two houses. Didn't realise there was a church here as well. Obviously it's all part of the Clandon churches. We've got St Peter and St Paul, which I've been to twice, which is also in the last video. Yes, it's really nice.
interesting window lancets up there. They're usually the traditional three, but it's only two, two windows also here, which is quite unusual. That's impressive. All the rectors of the church here, rectors of St. Thomas Becket Church in uh, East Glandon, going back to the first in 1297. 1297 is the earliest recording, right up to Barnaby Perkins in 2013. There's a couple of uh, spaces, there's a couple of years where it says register lost, so we've lost those records, but that's still pretty impressive, isn't it? got some hatchments up there, three hatchments, coat of arms. The nave was built in the 1100s, but the, the bell tower is 15th century. Very nice, I love this, this is a lovely uh, shrine, this one here. Ladies and gentlemen of the congregation, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Still a book of remembrance out for the Queen. Her, by the time of this recording, the uh, state funeral was a week ago. Um, still very surreal, still very surreal. You know, somebody, I'm no royalist or anything, but somebody you've been brought up with, the Queen, you think she's gonna be immortal. You know, maybe her consciousness is immortal, which is something I'm very interested in, but I'm talking about physical matter, has a finite, a limited time. Another little nugget about East Clandon, those who remember the 1970s uh, children's TV show Cat Weasel, that was filmed, all the exterior locations were filmed mostly here in East Clandon, mostly up at Home Farm, which is on the Ripley Road. So yeah, Cat Weasel uh, was filmed here. Geoffrey Bolden, yes. We sounded like William Hartnell, I thought, or William Hartnell sounded like Geoffrey Bolden. They both had the same kind of voice. He only passed away a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, so Cat Weasel was filmed here in East Clandon. We do have lunch booked in the Queen's Head pub, which would be nice. So there you go, I did go into Hatchlands Park uh, to have a look around the house. Um, with this short guide to the instruments in the Cobb collection of pianos and ancient pianos. Absolutely fascinating. Elgar's piano, a piano that was used by uh, Mary Antoinette. Schubert used one of the piano. The collection is awesome. If you're in the Surrey area, please come to Hatchlands Park. It's National Trust. It was absolutely fascinating. Um, I couldn't film in there because I said no filming. Absolutely fine. I had some really good conversations with some of the volunteers in there uh, telling me about the history of some of the pianos. It was absolutely extraordinary, some of the history in that place. Um, I just had a lovely pub lunch in the Queen's Head as well. So yeah, very nice uh, day out uh, around East Clandon. Sorry St Mary's was closed, but what can you do? So if you find any merit in this video at all, please like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and we'll see you next time.
Take care.